Good morning, guys. It is Saturday morning, and it is 7.15. My kids are already awake. I had my alarm set for 6 a.m., hoping I would get some time, and they're already awake. This is why they don't get to stay up late. Or, excuse me, I'm so tired. This is why I make them go to bed early. Because it doesn't matter. We went to bed at 9 something. And Can you turn that down, please? I'm gonna make my coffee because that's the most important thing right now for me. It's just a gun. Why do they wake up so early? I just don't understand. Can we not just get one day to sleep in? I don't know if you're trying to. This. I'm gonna try it. Don't bug him. He's sleeping. Thank you guys. Put a splash of almond milk creamer. And then I just did a little splash of this. I need this to last me a long time. It's kind of, I felt like it was a little expensive. drink my coffee and try to wake up. Oh Lord, you guys, do your kids wake up this early? Today the boys are going to the Gator game and my sister-in-law is going to come over so the little guys because Noah isn't going and her little girl's not going. They're too young. So we're just going to hang out and uh, spend the day with us. Can't have Oreos for breakfast, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm going to make pancakes and sausage. You want me to make a pencil out of pancake? Um... I will, I'll definitely try, okay? No, a pistol. A pistol? A pistol? No, I think I'm going to just do circles. Thanks for not doing pistols. I don't even know what you're talking about. I'll figure it out, baby. So the kids are fine for a minute, and I decided to be able to come back to bed. Not even come back to bed. I just want to sit in my bed and drink my coffee. I just want to drink my coffee for a minute. This is the routine every single morning with Ruby. She's such a brat, but we love her. I'm gonna make them pancakes and sausage. I just need to get, mm. I just need to wake up for a moment. Noah said he wanted snowflakes for breakfast. He said he wanted snowflakes. So I said, that must mean Frosted Flakes. So I got the Frosted Flakes. He said, no, not Frosted Flakes. I want Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So I got the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. He said, no, I want the Apple Jacks. There weren't very many Apple Jacks. I said, there's not very many left. He said, I don't want them. And so then he, I said, okay, well then I'm going to throw them away because there was literally like 10 little O's. And he said, fine. And then he heard me throw them away. He screamed because he wanted them. Finally, we fed it all cinnamon toast crunch. That's my girl. That's my girl. That's my girl. That's my girl. Mm -hmm. Okay. Super cute, babe. Super cute. Gosh, you guys, this stuff is amazing. The apple cider, I'm honestly probably gonna stock up on this. It's that good. Smell it. So good. So good. They need to make that into like all year round. That's incredible. This apple cider from Grove Collaborative.
what I made it from. Pancakes and sausage. And then he just them for a, what's that thing called? Job. In the driving stroller with the dog and I have myself a grit with sausage gravy with some potatoes and the sausage gravy are so good. Like carb upon carb upon carb. I'm gonna try to get all my carb intake earlier in the day. And I've been on going to the gym today because no one is up early and it really wears me out already. So I'm gonna do the kitchen with it before they get back. What I like to do is like literally it's like a race. It's time. I'm gonna go to the kitchen as fast as possible. And I try to do it, I try to do it before they get home and then it makes it kind of like a game. I was just going to inform them. Here's Josiah. I'm trying to do something with the children to keep them off of electronic devices because um, I think they're just on it a lot, you know? But uh, we tried Jenga and that started off okay and then I guess got boring pretty quickly. But Josiah, are we going to finish the Jenga game? You, what? Can you guys, did you understand what he was saying? It sounds like his whiny voice. I need your normal voice. I want an Oreo. You want an Oreo. Mom, are we doing Oreos? No. No. Yes, No. Yes. Whiny voice. No. If you beat me in Jenga, I'll give you an Oreo. Two. Don't push it. Two. Fine. Okay, go. It's a Jenga game. You can, you can, it can. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, so if you win this, you get one Oreo. Okay. Oh, no, that's pretty hard. They all feel like they, they need to be entertained. They all need to go back to bed. No. Maybe y'all can give some advice. What what time, what do you do with your kids? Well, let's see if we can fix this without it. Oh, I don't want to lose. I do want You know, we're, play, we're playing for Oreo. This is important. Yeah. Please, can you get your Oreo? Okay, it's one. If you ask me for two again, you won't even get one. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's what I was going to get. You put it in the middle. Babe, hey, have you ever played Jenga? What? With, no, I'm saying like, I really appreciate that. We should play Jenga together. I've played Jenga before. Hands off the table. We're going to lay it Oh, come on. I'm just not. I know you're not supposed to say you're not a morning person, but I'm just not the happiest when the sun comes up. I don't know that it's about the morning. I think it's about the... I like to ease oh, into my day. I got nothing. I got nothing. I don't know what to do. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. No, I'm when stuck. Miss I'm I stuck. Win, I Please help. subscribe. When Miss I win, I get... Yay. I don't know. Yay. I'm done. This is gonna do it. I'm good. I'm with this you. This kid's gonna get an Oreo. I want an Oreo too. Yeah, um, you, you get to get one. Okay. Oh. Don't use the middle fingers. Don't point a middle finger at anyone. That that means a bad word to God. Yes. Yeah, we don't do that. Nope, not my yes. mom. Yeah, Daddy's undefeated. Comment down in the likes. And Josiah is now crying and run off to his room. That's why. We should. Should we give him a? No. Or you, anyway? I'm not into giving everyone awards just because they played right. the game. Um, we'll catch y'all later. Peace out. Okay. I have got no makeup on.
guys. I'm honestly needing to let my skin rest a little bit. When you wear makeup every single day, it's not good for your skin. It's just not good. And you know what? Can I drop a little truth for you? When I started YouTube, I was like, I'm going to do life. I'm not going to pretend to be perfect. I want to be real. And I feel like I did that in the beginning. You guys should go look at some of my older videos. They're really, really bad. But, you know, everyone has to grow. And then I felt like, oh, gosh. You know, I was watching these other YouTubers always looking amazing. And I'm like, maybe I need to step up my game. I'm looking like a hot mess, you know. And then um, I felt like I wouldn't even get on camera, I wouldn't even turn on the camera or film. I wouldn't film at all unless my face and hair was done. And I was like, that was exhausting, you guys. That was so stinking exhausting. So I found myself not filming um, a lot because I always wanted to be put together. And I would find myself not getting on Instagram because I didn't want to put my face on there either because I was so insecure about the way us moms get sometimes. Like, my messy bun doesn't always look incredibly cute. Um, my face isn't always super, super, like, smooth and perfect. You know what I mean? Like, and so then I started stressing out about... I need to film, I need to film, I need to film. And I just, I don't know. Recently, I'm just like, I'm not gonna do this anymore. Like, I, it's too exhausting. I'm not gonna be able to keep going if I'm always gonna have to get done up before I get on camera. Obviously, there are times where I am gonna do that. There are gonna be times where I do cleaning videos because I have makeup on. There are going to be times where I'm going to do those things. But then there are going to be times like today, like right now, where I am letting my skin heal a little bit. It's breaking out. Um, and I'm going to let it heal. And I'm not putting makeup on. And I'm doing a vlog anyways. And I hope that's okay with you guys. Because I, my goal here is to just share life with you guys. And that is not under a pound of makeup. That's not my life. I wish it was sometimes. I do get up and get dressed every day. Yes, I do. But then there are days, oh Lord, y'all, Target's so crowded. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, y'all. Gonna have to go to Walmart. I ain't trying to look at all those people. Like, no. Y'all ever do that? Y'all ever pull up somewhere and be like, er, I'm gonna have to get on out of here. Nope. Not today, y'all. Not today. I don't like people that much. Sorry bumping into people and ugh. and my targets being renovated so everything is like all over the place not doing it I'll be going to Walmart anyways back to what I was saying so yeah I wanted to do life with you guys and sometimes life is just barefaced in yoga pants all right can I get an amen mom life is hard today was not fun kids woke up super early as you guys saw um, when I wake up early, like I've been trying to wake up early, when I do that, it's all good and great, but I lose steam very quickly. Even after a cup of coffee, I lose some steam. And I was like, I've got to lay down. So I sat for probably 15 minutes after cleaning and watching Chris play with the boys a little bit. Oh, you can go. No, no, you can go. Come on. But you can wave and say thank you for allowing me to walk across the street. You could have done that. That, that would have been nice. I, that's, a, that's a little bit of a pet peeve of mine. If I'm going to stop, like pedestrians first. Yes, I get it. But if, if um, I stop, like, like I'm already going slow and then you're not sure if you're going to go and I stop my car completely and be like, hey, I'm going to stop for you. Come on over. And then you just look at me and walk. You could just do a little hand flip. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to be like, thank you. Thank you so much. You're kind, stranger. You don't have to do that. You can literally just be like, or, I know you guys can't see my face because of the sun. But you know what I mean? Like, it's just a little gesture. Like, thank you. Hand flip. I mean, that's all I need. Instead of looking at me like, you know you better stop. Okay. All right. 
So I'm gonna go to Walmart. The boys are going to the Gator game. All the boys except for Noah because he's just too little. Which stinks for him because he doesn't understand. So I'm gonna go and get some batteries, some Pringles, and Mountain Dews. Mountain Dews are my husband's weakness. He's like, I'll go, babe. I was like, no, 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 I'll go, I'll go. Let me finish editing this video. I'm going. I'm getting dressed. I'm going. It's another reason why I didn't do. I didn't do my hair and makeup because I had to get up and go. Let me know, you guys. Do you like these types of vlogs where you're just kind of hanging out with me and talking and chatting? I want to do vlogs more, but sometimes I feel like, well, like there's nothing like there's not like an event happening so what what can I show you but if you guys just want to hang out with me during the day like today it's just a regular old Saturday just hanging out on a Saturday just let me know because I love to know what you guys want obviously I'm gonna do my weekly cleaning videos because that's good for my soul and you guys love them and I can't believe I'm gonna say this but like I love to clean you guys have heard me say it before like I love it I'm not playing like it is not a show I don't I can't speak for other people but for me like I genuinely love to clean I was the strange eight-year-old um, my mom was a single mom and now looking back as an adult looking back on my childhood I can tell it I'm definitely like an anxious child probably a little depressed child and I always had a sick stomach if I like if I went somewhere like I'd be so excited to go to my friend's house so excited we'd be talking about it all week Friday would come, I'd pack my bags, I'd go to her house, I'd be there for about an hour, and then the fear, or the feeling of impending doom on my little second grade body would come over me, and I would think, oh, I must be sick, and my friend's mom would call her, call my mom, my friend's mom would call my mom and say, I think Lynn's sick, you need to pick her up, and they would pick me up, and that would happen constantly, so I started to think, you know, am I just not eating, maybe I used to think like maybe their food's just not good. Maybe it just is making me sick. I, I didn't know what was wrong with me. Now as an adult, I realize I just, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I just had a sick stomach, like an anxious stomach. And I still do. <laughs> I'm grown and I still have trouble sometimes. But, um, so as a little kid, I guess innately, I just loved organization and I loved cleaning and it helped with my anxiety that I had at such a young age. There was a point to that story. And uh, I just cleaned and like my mom was a single mom so we kind of did whatever as kids. Like I'll get into all that story like some other day if y'all want to be like, if you want me to do like a get to know me video, I will but it'll be like, you guys gotta let me know. Um, but anyway. And so I remember at like eight years old, my mom would just go to bed and I would stay up watching TV because I was a kid of the 80s and the 90s and that's what you did, you watched TV. Watch my Family Ties and my Cosby Show and my Golden Girls, and uh, which I still love all those shows. And she would just go to bed and it'd be two, three o'clock in the morning and I'd be scrubbing grout lines with toothbrushes. Like that's the kind of weird kid I was. And I didn't know, I just knew that cleaning brought me a lot of joy. It just made me feel good. My biggest thing was I liked getting up and stepping back and looking. And then my favorite, favorite thing was waking up in the morning and everything being spotless. At eight years old, you guys, I was such a weird kid. And so I um, genuinely love to clean. And when I realized, like I clean every day anyway, but then when I realized like, Folks are actually getting on here and cleaning, and people like it. And when I told someone, they're like, "What do you what, like? What do you do on YouTube?" And I was like, "I, like, I clean, I, I clean." And they were like, "What? That's weird." And I'm like, "I know, but it works. It works. It works for me. It will work for you. Like, it freaking works. I don't know what it is about watching somebody else clean." Sometimes it gets you off of your butt and sometimes you just like watching someone clean. It's freaking genius. So like I'm going to always be doing my cleaning videos because I'm always cleaning every single day. I'm cleaning. So um, I've got I've, like I just wanted to throw that out there. But I'm also going to be adding some more cooking stuff for you guys. Um, I like to know what y'all want. I mean, I have a ton of video ideas that I want to know what you guys want. Obviously, the cleaning, the decluttering, the organizing. 
and then cooking uh, southern style and just healthy too and then I mean y'all just let me know y'all like these vlogs we'll do these vlogs you just want to hang out with my family and get to know my crazy large family okay we can do that too y'all mean like just let me know what y'all want in the comments below <laughs> I'm gonna go into Walmart now and see what I can find like is it bad that whenever I go to a store like I'm kind of like I want to go because I kind of want to shop and I know I need, don't need to shop but I want to get some gel nail stuff I have the SNF or no I have the Kiara Sky dip powder but I don't want to use that I want to buy some gel so I'm gonna see if they have some gel in there okay we got our game day essentials we got our Mountain Dew Pringles Kit Kats I'm a, I'm a good wife Reese's Kit Kats bubblegum those are our tailgate essentials Right, still, so we're still on our way to the Gator game. Uh, we actually just got some Chick-fil-A. Um, it's a long drive to Gainesville. We got the kids in the back playing their games. Say hi, guys. Got, got dad driving. What's up? Go Gators! What's up? Go Gators! Yeah, so we will, we will see you guys at the game. Okay, so... We just uh, we just got here to uh, G Town. We're close to the swamp. Um, there's Sammy getting his wallet here. We just parked in front of this gas pipeline. I don't know if we're actually supposed to park here. We may get towed, but uh, that's all right. Um, I got Sai Sai up here in the front drinking his Chick Fil A. Hey, don't go on the road. Don't go on the road. The car will hurt. Uh, yeah, we're having a good time. Get ready to watch the Gators play. Okay, so we've only been walking for I don't know seven minutes maybe. Josiah, what's wrong? Josiah says he can't walk anymore. Liam's shoe is untied. But uh, we're making our way to where we're tailgating at. And uh, Why don't we take a bus? my legs already hurt because I ran earlier. I shouldn't have. I was stupid. All right, so we just showed up here. And uh, Sam's niece is in the band, Abby. She's a trumpet player. And uh, we're getting ready to try to. Oh, there's the trumpets. See if we can find her. Okay, look, we have Abby here oh, getting ready to go warm up. Crusty. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. This you is too. happening. We're going to go watch the trumpets warm up. Make fun of her. Check that out. Which way are we going? Right here. Let's see the go vlogging. Go Gators, Sammy. Go Gators. Eli, come here. Say go Gators. Josiah. Gator fan coming in down the main strip, getting ready for the game. Go Gators. you do 